latest release for NVIDIA drivers in uh, February of 2023, they included something called Super Resolution. And uh, you can download it and it enables it, but you have to go to your NVIDIA control panel. But first on their page, on the download page, they try to give you a comparison of how the high resolution uh, videos will work better if you turn this on for both Google and Edge. But you notice here, it shows an image of the control panel. You have to go activate it. So let's go do that. So on the lower right of my taskbar, I have a little icons here. And I right click on the NVIDIA one and open up the control panel. And there it is. You have to go down to this last setting down here. Uh, and you'll see that there's a setting for uh, turning this on. Once you do that and you activate it, you have to set up and click apply. And then it'll be activated for your system. And by the way, it's not just selecting it and applying it, but you can come down here, use a drop down and select one through four as far as quality. Uh, and of course, uh, if it's going to have higher and higher quality, it's going to use more resources. In fact, they even tell you down here uh, that it will. So you might want to play around with this, start out with a two or just go to a four and figure you can use it. Uh, just go ahead and adjust it and see how your system responds. Now, the only thing you need is the latest version of Chrome and Edge. They even give you links to go do that, but it's normally it's automatically updated for you, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Now, they give a couple examples on their website, and here's the one for 1080p upscaled versus the RTX. You can see how much cleaner it looks. And here's another one you can uh, see the difference with as well. Uh, very nice picture, uh, significant difference. Now, for both Edge and Chrome, you shouldn't have to do anything, but I would check to see in these system settings and see if the uh, hardware acceleration is turned on for both both of them. You just go to the settings on either one and make sure that's turned on. And that's Edge. And there it is. And make sure that's turned on there as well. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want more, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description of this video.